Yeah, these things. Uh, I like them a about, lot. Yeah. Uh, I got it for like about 150. Yeah. And it's really useful. Uh, I like doing interviews like with uh, like the brides and like the bride and groom, like yeah. them saying their vows. Yeah. I just whip out the phone, connect it to my phone, and then have Record. them say their vows, and it's super crisp. Holy uh, crap! I never thought about that yeah, one. It's really, I'm learning it's, something from you. It's, it's really easy. It's this, it's the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, and right. you like doing video. I, I love doing you, you video. You don't yeah. like uh, photos. You like doing, but it's because it's part of it, right? Um, or which one do you like most? I like both, to be honest. I like more photos. Uh, the only thing I hate about video is it's very time consuming. It is time consuming, and yeah. I'm like, God, I really, I. If uh, if the client and everybody did a really good job on there and I usually take the time to like just do like a highlight video yeah. for funsies. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. even, like, for I your just, creativity yeah, needs. Yeah, yeah. I just like surprise them and they're like, hey, by the way, I made this video. Yeah. I don't offer it because I know all the work that goes into a, a highlight video. Uh, it'd be like a whole day worth of work. Yeah. You know, six, seven hours. Yes. Uh, eight hours trying to make something really, really look nice. nice. Yeah. Because uh, I guess what a lot of people don't realize is like the, the, you have to like synchronize the sound. Oh man, uh, yeah, the color correct, the color correction, video, thing. and and just the simple things as uh, like the encoding. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's something so simple can ruin your entire morning. We're like, exactly. Oh, how many times I've done that? Yeah, it's yeah, just, or yeah, like I have to render a video. I'm just like shit. Yeah, and it go. used to be that with a final hours. cut, it was like the old school render, and you had to render one thing and then mm -hmm. encode it another. And it's like, oh man. Yeah. But nowadays, with all the new technology, it's a lot easier to, crazy, for us man. to do all that stuff. But yeah. yeah. All right, so we'll just yeah. jump right into it. It's already yeah. been recording, but uh, yeah. uh, Yasmani, I am happy to have you on my show. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting because, you know, here in Arkansas, there's a lot of photographers, but there is very few photographers who are willing to take the challenge of doing event photography, which includes... Yeah. Uh, quinceañeras, weddings, uh, all that type of stuff. Um, but being as that is, it's it's completely different than like your regular portrait photography. Uh, there's a lot more stress involved uh, prior to the wedding, during the wedding, um, and even after the wedding. Yes, uh, yes, that is. Yeah, so my question to you, my first question yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is... How and why did you get started in this industry? In this industry. Yeah. So I've always been a very creative. Uh, that's my dog, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he probably right. went to water. Yeah. Um, we started this when I was very little. I would say 14, 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cruzo, go away. Sorry. <laughs> Come here. There. Yeah, he's going to be a yeah. nah, cruise. He's good. So, um, yeah. Like I was saying, I started 14 years old. Uh, I remember I asked my parents for a camera, a yeah. little cheapy camera. And the notion of having a camera, I, I started taking stuff and stuff and stuff. Uh, I remember being in a youth group, Busqueda, and was with a okay. church group, and that's where we actually started. I think I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, it's still going on today, It's still it? going yeah. to this day. It's yeah. going with all that stuff. Okay. Uh, I was one of the first ones to... to, uh, to do those kind of retreats here in mm -hmm. Arkansas. I think I lived Busca at 11 <laughs> back in the day. I don't yeah. know. I think they're in 80 something right now. God. So it's been a while. And we started doing the, the pictures in order to, to get money for, uh, for the retreat. Yeah. So we would do the pictures and the video and then we sell it to the parents so the kids would, could have like a memory of their retreat. Mm -hmm. And then we sell it to them and that's how it started. Yeah. Um, Fast forward a few years later, when we were doing that, and a parent came to me. He was like, hey, can you do my quinceañera? Man, I was scared. Like, yeah. I've never been so scared. I was like, I don't know how to do that. You know, I never jump into that. Yeah. And that was age 15, I think, 14, 15. Um, uh, I borrowed one of my friend's uh, camera, mm -hmm. and I went and bought a, a little uh, camcorder, with the, the one with a disc. Yeah. You know, that was, uh, I was 15, 16, you know, I put all my money in there. I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. And then I kept trying, and I just kept falling more in love with the photography yeah. part of it. You know, I just kept doing, I was learning and learning and learning and learning. I went to college uh, and I major in health science okay. with an emphasis in physical therapy. So photography okay. is not even my full major. I have a minor yeah. from UCA in photography, but not a major. My major was in health science, you yeah. know, so, uh, something completely different, you know. 
And that's how I started doing. Um, I, I noticed that I was getting better and better, and I was, I'm was i very passionate about whatever I do. Yeah. I put 110% into uh, everything. I'm a, I, I get obsessed with things, yeah. you know, to the to the point where like, I wanna be better, mm -hmm. I wanna be better, I wanna be better. That's, For sure. So I was, that's how I started, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and kind of like, you know, uh, I, I started the game here in, um, 2017, 2018. Yeah. That's when I, because I, I came back to Arkansas in 2016. And you know me as a, I, I did my due diligence before. Yeah. I was yeah. like, let me see who's, uh, who's in who, there. Yeah who's, yeah. who's the top dogs in, uh, in, in Little Rock, North Little Rock, or just Arkansas mm -hmm. in general. Uh, and you know, one of the, uh, you were one of the people that kind of like uh, stood out uh, from the, from the bunch um, because there's like a certain technique that you use. Uh, I don't want to give away, away all your secrets, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. but a lot of that has to do with lighting. Lighting, uh, yes. And you know, uh, talking to other photographers, um, once you start working with lighting, it kind of like separates the the men from the boys, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, so to speak, yeah, yeah, uh, in photography. Yeah, and is. I was like, wow, this guy's really, he's really good with his lighting. I use lighting uh, for some occasions. Uh, but if it's outside, I definitely love to use natural light. Natural light, uh, yeah. But what kind of uh, took you from this, uh, or took you to this path of using Man, lighting? Uh, so uh, once again, the, mm -hmm. the the drive to always be better, mm -hmm. to get with myself, be like, okay, I want to learn more. Mm -hmm. uh, I started watching a lot of, uh, I will get in on Instagram, and I started looking at all the, the photographers, mm -hmm. not just here locally, uh, I got I started looking at photographers around the world. Yeah, uh, China, Spain, Mexico has some of the, like amazing exactly. photographers. Um, Christian Ma Macias, uh, Barbara Torres. Mm -hmm. uh, they're 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 top dogs in, in their industry. Yeah, wedding photographers. You look at their work and you're like, holy crap. Well, yeah. I got that style. I was, I was, I fell in love with the style mm -hmm. that they went going a little darker, moody, exactly. more, um, more light, you know. And I started researching them, and I started noticing that they, they have uh, seminars. Yeah. So I started, you know, taking their seminars to study their, their their style yeah. and all that stuff. You know, that's how we uh, we got into all that like change because my style went from not using uh, flashlights because uh, I didn't know how to use them. I was a natural light photographer yeah. that I, you know that's what I, I call myself and then uh i started i noticed the flashes and i started i was like holy crap this is a game this changer. is game changer yeah. and i started using those and now my work has 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 gone from yeah. you know a beginner to i, I, I was in a little better yeah. you know uh, more professional and and just pushing myself, learning, you know. Yeah. Uh, in, instead of being on my phone on Facebook, I will be like researching videos and, and stuff like that, yeah. you know. So uh, I will be like, yeah, I'll be like, hey, that looks really freaking good. Yeah. I wanna learn that. How do they do that? And that took me to a lot of road trips to, to see this guy. Uh, Christian Cardona is one of my top dogs. Yeah. He's from Colombia. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, I I went to a seminar in uh, in Dallas. Okay. You know, um, and man, I just learned a lot from these guys. Mm -hmm. They're just, uh, I mean, they're idols for me. Yeah. You know, I look at the work and I look and, and the type of people they are. Mm -hmm. You know, I I'm a, I'm a very social. You know, I'm a social yeah. animal. I can make conversation with anyone like. Like yeah. that, you know. It was I feel like, like that's super yeah. necessary for it, our for, exactly yeah. for our industry. Yeah. That is uh, sixty percent of the the job yeah, is exactly. doing that. Some people have to learn it. Some people have to like naturally. Like, yeah. uh, I just go talk to people and be like, "Hey, we know we're we're friends now." Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they just yeah. came on naturally. Yeah. For me, it's something I had to learn, uh, for sure. I, you know, I consider myself a very introverted person, but you know, when I get the camera, I'm on my way to the shoot, I mentally prepare, and I'm like, as soon as I get there, I flip the switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra Dude, burger, I yeah. know, I know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dude, that is, that is so yeah, funny, but that yeah. happens to me too. Like, just like yeah. I get out of the car, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. all right guys, how are we doing? Yeah. Let's do this, all right, and yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, a lot of people don't realize um, that aspect of this field. Uh, one of the things that used to piss me off a lot, especially as, you know, a new upcoming photographer, uh, people would always mention the fact that, oh, you know, it's uh, it's your camera. Your camera is doing all the work for you. Yes. And I'd be like, eh, I guess you are kind of right. I do have a, a pretty fancy camera. Uh, but being able to 
get the emotions out of people is a whole different thing. Yes. Like making them feel yeah, comfortable. Interacting, yeah. any, anyone, uh, I tell everyone, anyone can click this. Yeah. But making a amazing picture that mm -hmm. sticks with our clients forever. I keep, uh, I love seeing our, my, my pictures and my clients' profiles mm -hmm. and their, um, and when I see them and it, and it has an emotion, I'm like, oh, yeah, I was able to capture that just on the spot. Exactly. And, it, and it, you get a good uh, rewarding uh, feeling when mm -hmm. when people tell, oh, you do a good job. I'm like, oh, man, because I, tr I try. Yeah. I mean, you try, too, and, and you always give your best. Exactly. I mean, that's – that's uh, and when someone acknowledged that, hey, uh, you're doing a good job, it feels really good. Yeah. You know, it's kind of rewarding. It's like, yeah, we're doing this for a job, but – we could be doing any job. We can be working at Lowe's. We can be working at an office. We could be working just anywhere. But we decided to go with this because yeah. we're passionate enough to be like, all right, I don't want to do this. Uh, this, yeah. yeah. And with it being such a, a competitive field, and by competitive, I mean there's um, there's a lot of people who pick up a camera and automatically consider themselves photographers. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to. Uh, well, I, I speak from experience, you know, my first first year, maybe in my, my second year, uh, it was very difficult for people to get people to take you seriously yeah. as a photographer. Yes. Um, did you ever have that struggle? Me, or? Oh, yeah. Uh, starting at 15, 16, I yeah. was a uh, mocoso, you yeah. know, you know, and then I would see uh, older people. That will be like, oh, you're a little kid. You're not gonna yeah. make it. Uh, so this is just gonna be. It's just a face. And yeah. I'll be like, well, I'm gonna show you. Mm -hmm. You know. And I've. It became. Um, I've. It became my, my passion. It became my career. It started as a hobby, and now this is what I do full time. Well, one of the things I do yeah. full time. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the thing, man. Um, just from my own personal experiences, like I try to keep a hold on, like, huh? Like I see a new upcoming photographer. I'm like, um. You're doing good. I'm gonna. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna underestimate you because yeah, you know yeah, that exactly. when someone has their and, passion, yeah, has that drive. Exactly. And I see my. I, I wish someone would have come uh, and help me. Yeah. I try to ask a lot of people, but no one will do it. You know, I, I have so many. Oh, I don't have time messages. Yeah. Um, when I was first starting, that now what I do is like whenever I see someone, and yeah. a lot of people can relate to this. Like, uh, if you need help, let me know. I'll help you. Yeah. And you, you're, you've seen that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if someone needs help, hey, this is how you do it. This exactly. is how I do it. Uh, I have no problem with uh, teaching someone yeah. else, you know, because every photographer is different. It's like a signature, mm -hmm. you know. And I think uh, the I think the photography community is very toxic. Yes. I think it, everybody tries to be better than everybody else. It, the egos... When and that happens, uh, and I have, we have this conversation with uh, mm -hmm. Christian uh, Cardona. Yeah. Uh, Shout and out he, to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it was. Uh, sometimes we think we're superheroes as photographers. Yeah. You're like, oh, we're badass. We're famous. We're well, this. But in reality, I mean, some people take it to the extreme. And uh, you know, if you're humble and we're like, thank you so much, and someone needs help reach out you yeah. know help them help and that's the best way to 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 get this yeah because it's, it, it's not fair for someone just to have all the passion for themselves someone else will, will exactly. need it to you know so always share that uh, that's one thing i always love doing um mm. uh there's a lot of especially younger younger kids yeah you know they come into our events they're like hey how do you do this i'm like man reach out to me and yeah. send me a message not right now because i'm at work yeah but later on the weekend if you're interested uh, you know I'll, I'll i'll show you how i yeah. do it i'll exactly. take you uh, I'm no. Uh, my wife says that uh, I'm not really good at teaching people, but I show them how to do it. Yeah. You know, and they can ask me questions. And I'm like, all right, if it's questions about the camera, here we go. This is how I do it. If it's yeah. questions about the lighting, position, uh, everything, just ask me. Yeah. yeah. And I have no problem with that. Yeah. For sure. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna give you my my super amazing secrets, which yeah. is just a light. <laughs> that yeah. is my secret. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's um, it, it's it's funny that you say that. You know, a lot of people. Um, you know, especially for me, it was really hard to, I reached out to a lot of people when I first started doing photography yeah. here, like in, um, in Arkansas, man. And I got so much rejection. Rejection. Yeah. It's like, uh, no, I'm busy. Uh, yeah. I don't have time. Yeah. Uh, or, or I, I never knew what that, what it was to get help. Yeah. So whenever somebody like new does come up to me and be like, hey, how do you do this? I don't know, yeah. I feel very, uh, it's just my mindset that, I guess as a teacher. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you. Um, 
And As I, an and educator, like, yeah. yeah. And, and like you mentioned, like I'm not going to give you all my secrets, but I'll help you improve. Improve your what, skills yeah, because our own styles skill. are different. Yeah, develop your you own know? skill. Um, going going back to the to the to the toxicity of things. Yeah. Know, I, I want to get I want to yeah. get deep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah it is. It is very uh, toxic, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Have you ever had that struggle with like you know dealing with like competitors or something or like uh, you know the shit talking? I don't know. What man, I have. Yeah. I have. Uh, and my solution is to ignore it. Yeah. You know, I, I ignore all that. Uh, Your work speaks for itself. Exactly. You know? My work speaks for myself and. Uh, I don't have, uh, I'm very, uh, I value my time. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't do that, but I value my time a lot. Exactly. Like if I'm like spending one hour here, I'm like, okay, this is my, my time is valuable. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't see that. And if I p start thinking about the negative stuff that other people say, yeah. I'm wasting my time on negative things that other people are thinking, mm -hmm. you know? So I try to avoid them. You know what? If it's not important, I just cut it off exactly. and I focus on things that I'm actually, I'm interested mm -hmm. if, uh, you know, cause a lot of, you're always going to find a bunch of people that don't like your work or people that, uh, are just not familiar with your yeah. style and stuff like that. But, um, uh, so yeah, I've, that has it has yeah. happened, yeah. But I just ignore it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't go and be like poke it or anything. I'm just like, you know what? It's whatever, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, if I, if you don't think I'm good, that's fine. You know, because yeah. uh, my other clients think I'm good. That's why I'm they're hiring me. You know, that's exactly. that's what matters. The clients that are hiring us and they're trusting us with their yeah. events. You know, it's a uh, it's a lot of. Uh you know, doing a wedding is a lot of responsibility. And it I'd is. Say that, yeah, and it's scary. Yeah, they, it they, is. I have, I have uh, mistakes that happen in weddings where yeah. I've, you know, and then those are, uh, I think I've only made two mistakes in weddings that I can remember of. It's uh, when I'm just recording some stuff. And that's just, man. It's uh, painful conversations. It is have. very painful conversations <laughs> yeah. that I'm just like, oh, I've shit, um, you know. You know, one of the most recent ones that I've had um, was a memory card failure. Oh man, those yeah. are scary. Yeah. Those are scary. <laughs> Luckily, uh, you know, I had a, that during that time I had a, somebody, one of my princesses come yeah. with me. So I had their memory card. Yeah. It wasn't as good as, I, I don't want to yeah, shame yeah. them, but like. Uh, yeah, I mean, because yeah. they, I mean, even for quality. Yeah, they were, they yeah. were practicing. Yeah, so uh, you put like an SD card, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Instead of those expensive yeah. two hundred dollar memory cards, yeah, exactly. I had to buy one. I only have one of those, <laughs> and I use uh, yeah. SD cards. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it's something that clients don't understand, and I don't. I don't blame them. Like, yeah, because it's, it's not their. It is not their job yeah, to understand you know, that. Their, their job is to yeah, hire us, mm -hmm. and you know, our job is to provide the, the, best, yeah, the best that we can. Yeah, and uh, you know, there's a lot of things that could have that I could have done. Uh, maybe like re-up on some SD cards, not use the same one, uh, shoot on two slots, whatever yeah. the case may be. Uh, but it didn't happen. Um, and those difficult conversations, uh, it's 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 really tough to tell somebody. I'm like, oh I man, did, yeah, I didn't get. Yeah, your, no, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's a topic. Yeah. It's I'm like, it hurts me. Like yeah. physically, it hurts me. Yeah. I think about it, and I'm just like. Fuck, and I'm really hard on myself, yeah. like I said, you know, I'm really, really hard on myself. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so. Um, as a as an upcoming photographer, uh, let's go into retrospect, maybe like when you were like 19, 20. Yes. Uh, what would you say was one of the most difficult things to overcome? On, on 2019? Yeah, um, just whenever you were starting. Oh, uh, whenever I first started. Yeah. Uh, because I feel like there's always there's uh, always barriers. Yeah, yeah always there's barrier obstacles and uh, so many things. The the mentality. Mm -hmm. You gotta believe that you are good enough. Because yeah. if you don't believe yourself, no one else will before you. You know. So that's uh, the first one. Once you get your mentality, your mentality will change moons, mountains. Yeah. You know. Second one. Uh, the lack of equipment. <laughs> Sometimes it's uh, you know it is. It, it, you, yeah. It, the camera does good job. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, you you do have to invest a lot. You know, yeah. uh, I would say I will have about thirty to forty thousand dollars invested in equipment. You know, same as you. Yeah. So it's that's it's a it, that's a good number to yeah. just to jump in there. Um, then education. You know, yeah. that's another one. Uh, uh, getting getting stuff done correctly. Yeah. Educating yourself and all that. You know. Yeah. So. Um, 
Yeah, those are some of the barriers time-wise, you know, uh, being away from the family on the weekends. So like uh, I have a kid and my wife, you know, she works Monday through Friday and I work on the weekends. So our only days is Sundays. And yeah. I, it used to be that I used to work Sundays. And now I tell my clients, I am off the books on Sundays. Sundays is for family. Sunday is for me to chill with the family uh and stuff like that you know i don't do photo shoots no events no nothing i just sure. go and be with them um so you just having it treated as a business yeah you know that's uh that's one of the big ones uh, to uh, one big barrier yeah that i was like oh it's a it's a it's a hobby no it's a yeah. it's a business it's a business yeah. it's kind yeah. of what you what you live off yeah of exactly and... this is what i uh, this is what we use for my family mm -hmm. this is what we use for for everything yeah yeah you know well, so. you know, kind of uh, just relaying a little bit off of that, um, what do you think about people that ask you for free photos? Uh, I don't get those very often anymore. Yeah. At first, I you, used yeah, to. Yeah, used to. At first, I used to. Uh, padrinos. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, would you like to be a padrino of... Uh, yeah. I'll be like... Yeah. Uh, the, the, my wife has a really funny story with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they were used to ask us, hey, do you want to be padrinos? And we were like... Man, I cannot, honestly, I cannot. Yeah. It's my time, it's my only job. It's like, if I ask you, hey, do you work construction? Will you build this fence for me for free? Exactly. Will, will you like to be, but I can't. I have to treat it as a business. And ever since, uh, I do I, I do do a few free sh uh, shoots. Yeah. Uh, I call them my creative shoots. Exactly, yeah. Uh, where I chose uh, choose a model, mm -hmm. and I go and practice certain style that I want to mm -hmm. start doing. Yeah. You know, so because I don't want to practice with clients. Yeah. So I hire, uh, well, I, I talk to a model or a, a couple or whatever it is. And then I'm like, okay, let's go, let's go do a shoot. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to, I want to uh, check this lens or this new light or this style or I want to with this, mm -hmm. you know, new locations. Yeah. That's, uh, so I do do free ones, uh, not all the time, but I do, uh, I try to do one, uh, uh, you know, a few a year. Yeah. You know? For sure. Yeah, I used to get those a lot, uh, and I'd say that um, I don't know. I, I would, I would often do them uh, out of thinking that I would get something out of it. Yeah, like, like you know? exposure yeah, or exposure. something. Yeah. But then I realized that you know what? <clears throat> this is the craziest thing. Uh, it's a story that actually happened to me. Like I took photos for free. Yeah. Of the of these of these people these this couple. Uh, and you know, I gave it my all. And uh, a week later, I gave them the photos. And then about two hours later, they put on Facebook, it says like, do you have any recommendations or any good on any good photographers? That shit broke me. Yeah. I was like, oh uh, man, yeah. I was like, damn, I guess they didn't like the photos. Yeah. I mean, and they were free. And exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing. Uh, we're, we're harder. Yeah. We're really hard on ourselves as, as artists. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it, we t uh, criti I take criticism, uh, positive criticism, yeah. you know, or uh, I don't say positive, just, as long as it's not mean. Yeah. I'll take it good. But when people are mean, uh, man, uh, that's when I'm not, uh, yeah. you know, I just cut him off. And then I don't waste my time. Exactly. Uh, you know, that, that was probably the last free shoot that I did. And like you said, I do collaborations with like models yeah. or yeah. like someone who has a really, really cool idea. I'm like, mm, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm down for that. Yeah. That type of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, man. Photography is like a job that's very, uh, unappreciated sometimes. Yes. Um, it, it's, I mean, you put your everything on one image to mm -hmm. work it, and then it's just gone. Yeah, yeah. you know, three. Uh, I don't say we work for likes. Yeah, you know, but exposure, uh, likes are uh, equivalent to exposure. Yeah. You know, the more likes we have, the more exposure we have. Yeah, the more potential clients we we can reach. Mm -hmm. You know, so we uh, at, at some point we do work for likes. You yeah. know, it, 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 like it or not. It's it's that on our social media, and our social media, you know, that's how we do our. I would, that's how at least I do my marketing. Yeah, yeah. but it, it does hurt when someone's like, "Oh, you're not appreciated," yeah. but don't don't take it personal. I mean, yeah. you're uh, you're doing this because you love it. Exactly. If you want to do, if you really want to do something else, you could do it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you have the opportunity to do yeah. this kind of this job. It's uh, yeah, and be hard on yourself, but not to that point you're like, "I want to quit." Yeah, you know. Um. There's a, a lot of difficulties in being a photographer. Uh, one of those is kind of going into a rut, like finding no inspiration whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, a lot of the weddings that I go to, I go in like with con animos. Yes. Uh, but there are some occasions when I'm like, fuck, like I really don't feel like doing this. Like, yeah. I'm depressed. I'm yeah. uninspired. And that, uh, yeah. yeah, how do you overcome that? Or do you and that's yeah, I I get that all the time. Yeah. I am human. I'm not happy all the time. You yeah. know, you're not happy. No, no. If you're happy on the, all the time, then you know I don't know. You're yeah. taking something. You yeah. know. Yeah. For me, it's, <laughs> let me know how you do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, for me to do it, uh, and uh, I think that's when a the real professional and passionate comes out. Yeah. You know, when it's time to do things the, uh, seriously, it's like okay. Get over your sh you get get over your shit and yeah. and do you gotta pr you gotta produce you gotta that perform. good perform really good yeah, you know yeah. because these people are saving money to to hire you exactly you know and uh, I am not the cheapest one I tell yeah. my uh, I tell my my clients I am not the cheapest but you're not looking for the cheapest yeah you know and uh you know if you're looking for quality I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to give you my best quality exactly on that and that. So uh, that's the only way I overcome is like, you know what? Get over yourself and you got to perform. Yeah. You know, sometimes I go to photo shoots and I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go. I'm tired. I just, uh, I just work in my other business. Yeah. And I came back from, from the other business to this one and I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Yeah. But I go there and I'm like, you know what? These people, uh, they pay me to, to yeah. do a good job. So I got to do the best that I can. Exactly. You know? And if I don't, if I, uh, honestly, like, if I don't feel like if I'm, like, dying, I have 0% energy, I just be like, hey, uh, can we can we change the date? Yeah. I am not having it. You yeah. know, I'm not having a good time. And, and maybe next week we yeah. can do it. I'm going to be much better. And I yeah. prepare myself. You know, um, I, I got that, that, that lesson from a... Um from a tattoo artist yeah. they uh they were one of my ta first tattoo artists uh and this guy came into his shop and was like uh he's like i want this tattoo right now i'll pay you whatever oh wow uh and he was like bro i would love to but i've just been doing like he was working on me yeah and he had been working on me for about three four hours he was like i've been working eight hours today yeah that you do not want me to do your tattoo right now right now when i'm tired as yeah as i mean heck. you want to yeah. you want to give me yeah. uh when i'm inspired yeah exactly you know you want yeah. me to get and, and my 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 photo shoots yeah, I sh yeah and, like, and and it comes to the point where you're like yeah money's great but like at the end of the day you don't want to you don't want to take somebody's money and not give them the best exactly that you that you can exactly yeah. you, you gotta perform you gotta be you gotta be true to yourself yeah you know uh because i mean if you if you're doing it just for the money you can do so many other things. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I'll be follow your passion. Mm -hmm. I am following my passion, and I tell everyone, "How long are you planning on doing this until I cannot walk yeah. and I can like do that?" You know, yeah. I'm always. Uh, I mean, I have calluses in my hands from holding the cameras <laughs> and yeah. like different spots and all that, and I'm like always mm -hmm. twitching like this. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, I think uh, now that you're saying that, like uh, calluses and all of that, yeah. I feel like. <laughs> Nowadays, being a photographer isn't as hard as back in the day. Oh heck no, no, yeah. no, no. We're we're we, we're, uh, we're the princess generation yeah. for photographers. It's uh, like I tell my uh, a lot of my employees and stuff, uh, apprentices and whatnot. Yeah. Like uh, I'm like, you guys have it so easy. Like the basically like you know shooting on a mirrorless camera. You know what you see inside it's, that lens yeah. is what you get. Yeah. Uh, back in yeah. the day, you know, you're shooting DSLRs. It's uh, I, yeah, know. exactly. DSLRs is a, it's a bigger monster. Yeah. yeah. And they're heavy. Yeah. They're bulky. Uh, that's what I yeah. shoot to this day. You know, mm -hmm. you've seen my yellow camera. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's uh, th that that is a bulky camera, and I just carry like, yeah, I'm stronger yeah. on this arm yeah. than this one for that reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's. Uh, the evolution of, of cameras is sometimes scary. Technol yeah. Yeah. It's like, dang, like everybody Man, thinks that we can, they, they can do our job. Um, but it's not really the quality case. wise. Nowadays, iPhones are so good, mm -hmm. but it's not about the, the, the equipment. Mm -hmm. It's about the person, exactly. you know, a book, it doesn't get written by a pencil. Mm -hmm. A book is get written by this, yeah. you know, same thing. A, a picture does not get taken just by this. Exactly. I, anyone can just go do that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many things. Composition. I, I love composition mm -hmm. in my pictures. You know, uh, I, uh, I guess I could describe myself as a uh, uh, 
documentary uh, photographer. Yeah. I like to document uh, events, mm -hmm. not just take pictures. I like to give emotion when it comes to that, exactly. you know. And equipment, yeah, it helps a lot, but mm -hmm. you know, you have to put thought into it. Yeah. You know, it's not, uh, it's not just like I got a lucky shot. It's like no, I had mm -hmm. to set it up and do all that, you know. And yeah. that's 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 the difference between uh, you know, it's uh, oh sorry, yeah, yeah. No, you're good, yeah. We're good, yeah. Yeah, sorry, it's money. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, speaking of composition, I usually, I get a lot of hate, you know, uh, from uh, other photographers uh, because a lot of my uh, photos are, you know, positioned with the subject in the center. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it, it's, it's funny. It's like, dang, I have to defend myself all the time. Yeah. Like, you know, this is, uh, I don't know if you guys know this but this is uh, asymmetrical you know like everything yeah, on, yeah, the, on the yeah, left side yeah. is balanced exactly. to the right, right side. yeah, yeah. And, and there's uh, so many rules to that you know yeah. uh, thirds you know fourths and yeah. then every rule can be yeah. brokeable at some point you know yeah. it's a, it does, just because there are rules doesn't yeah. mean yeah and, you know so, as long as you shoot with the with an intention um you know sometimes you know like there was this one photo where i positioned like the bride like at the very corner like, you could barely see yeah. her but I wanted like the whole venue to be seen, like all her decor and stuff. Exactly. Uh, yeah. And I was like, the intention behind this photo wasn't to get uh, the bride as the 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 main subject, but to get everything else as the exactly. subject. Exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. And and I feel like a lot of people criticize criticize you and just uh, without knowing the the reasoning behind a photo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's uh, I mean, and sometimes we have to educate our clients. Yeah. You know, because they are they hire us because we're we're the ones that know. You know, for uh, if it was for them to to choose, they would just pick a Walmart picture. Yeah. You know, Whoever. but we're the yeah we're not Walmart. You're you're buying stuff custom, so yeah. we have to educate them. And this is why you do it. This is why you get it. Uh, the reason I took it like this is because of this. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, we also have to be educators. They're not going to understand it to the level that we do, mm -hmm. but uh, you always do it for the best. Yeah. You know, and then they look at the images like, oh wow, that looks really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, those are the best comments that I, I gotten. I got, yeah. you know, uh, the majority, I would say 90% are positive comments, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, same. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, when you get like a pretty good uh, uh, percentage of people liking your stuff, uh, it's a good thing. You know, I used to, I used to get bummed out because one client would not like the work. Yeah. Uh, but compared to that, like, you know, it was, it was one client, like, there's, oh, 50, there, there's, 50, yeah, yeah. there's uh there's 50 other people who yeah exactly like I, was like, I think and, that's a pretty yeah. good turn that's out. a pretty good turn yeah. exactly yeah. if he, if he, if you ask me yeah that is that is great you know yeah. um there's people that are are much worse than that and yeah, yeah you know and sure. uh you know that's that's so be hard on yourself but not to that point that you want to quit yeah exactly you know? um a good a good piece of advice for someone just starting off what would you, what would you uh, practice practice a lot shoot everything you can learn about light in my opinion yeah. you know learn about light yeah, learn yeah. your camera learn everything uh, have fun have yeah. fun whenever you're talking to people uh, care about the people that you're working with mm -hmm. you know uh, uh, if you have a team you know your team are your right hand I tell them I remind my team all the time you guys without you I cannot do anything, and that's honestly true because yeah. I cannot do anything without them. Mm -hmm. You know, my my guys are uh, they're 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 family to me. Yeah. You know, I work with them, and we get so tired. We get uh, you know everything in that, and they're they're part of my family. Yeah, and they're so just they uh, I teach them to like this is how I do this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, I put them to practice. Hey, how do, how do you think I did this? Um, so just practice, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you if you really like it, I mean go with it i yeah. took uh before i became a, uh well while i was in college i was working for a hospital and i just remember being so unhappy yeah you know i was just so unhappy and now i tell everyone i have the best job in the world man i get to go to people's parties all the time yeah. I, I get to hang out with them have fun with them i drink with them yeah. i eat with them i dance with them exactly. you know I mean, what else can you, where yeah. do you get that and get paid, you know? Exactly. So, I mean, uh, do the best and enjoy it. And if you're passionate about it, go mm -hmm. for it, you know? And if you have questions, there's always someone that's willing to, to, to help you. There's a lot more that are not willing to help you, but find those people, you know? Yeah. Make yourself usable. 
Exactly. You know? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's, uh, you know, you saying make yourself usable. Uh, you know, a lot of people focus on being happy, and I feel like the connection to being happy is making yourself useful. Yeah. You know, it, it brings a lot of joy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, helping people. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and helping them accomplish their dreams. Exactly. It, you know, yeah. it's always it's, it's better to give than to receive, honestly. Exactly. Yeah, uh, that's one thing I've... I learned for, since a uh, young age, and that was the, my golden rule right there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, try to, yeah, don't don't screw anyone else, you know, mm-hmm. and just help other people. Yeah, that's that's exactly. always, yeah. Don't be don't be a fool, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> don't be a fool ever. For yeah. Sure. But, yeah, be, be kind, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, um, I know you're, you're pretty well known here in Arkansas uh, as a photographer, a wedding quinceanera photographer. Uh, is there anything else in life that you want to accomplish, like creatively? Uh, have you thought about that? Man, creatively. Uh, or professionally. Professionally, I have, um, I've always wanted to do uh, mission work okay. and be the photographer in this mm-hmm. mission works, you know. Mission like, works like, like, uh, uh, s- like, a, so, uh, like a, my wife is a nurse, so okay. do like a, a medical mission in some other country or yeah. here and get and get to na- and, uh, help and narrate with images. Yeah. You know, that's always been, but uh, the main thing is that uh, if I do that, I cannot do my job. So I'm finding other ways to financially do that. Yeah. You know, like uh, for example, we, my wife and I, didn't, when COVID hit, we got into real estate. Mm-hmm. You know, we got uh, we started getting uh, a few houses to able to overcome that loss of revenue. Yeah. You know, because COVID hit. Yeah, our jobs. Pretty, yeah. yeah, it was pretty brutal. Oh, man, it was brutal. I was like, uh, what are we going to do? You <laughs> yeah, know, we still like, got house payment, car mm-hmm. payments. Our kid was in school. You know, we were like, we should have to get stuff. So that's one thing we got um, real estate to to overcome that part uh, yeah. of our, our job. You know, whatever whatever we, we were not getting from photography. Mm-hmm. So eventually that will be one of my goals to, to just do mission work like that go to i don't know anywhere in the world i love yeah. traveling traveling is my that is one of my big passions yeah. traveling um meeting new people and capturing mm-hmm. you know pictures with like uh random people i love what you did in oaxaca yeah. uh when you went oh Ch- chiapas or oaxaca uh oaxaca oaxaca yeah yeah i love what you did that over there with those pictures and i was like man uh, yeah. i was, I was kind of low-key jealous <laughs> so, you know that was yeah, so man. dope uh, to have that experience and uh, do that kind of stuff. It was pretty dope, you know. And just uh, whenever I go to, uh, to my hometown in Mexico, uh, in Veracruz, uh, I like doing that. You know, taking, yeah. getting in there and narrating the story of of, exactly. of how it is. Yeah. You know, so that's one of my my passions. Yeah. Yeah. So just yeah. like be able to travel more and yeah. do do mission type stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Documenting is uh, that's what I did uh, when I was in the Marine Corps. Yeah. Uh, yes. You know, I went out and just went to other countries, documented what they were doing. That is a badass uh, job, yeah, man. If I was, could, like, enlist. And, yeah. no, I, I don't know if I had the balls to do that right now. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah it was. Well, depending on Russia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah. It's getting crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you hear that they just, like, launched their new submarine or whatever? Yes. It's called, like, the Poseidon the, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's getting crazy. That's yeah. some scary stuff, yeah. man. If, yeah, England and... I mean, with well, the yeah. oil pot. Oh, no, it's just, it's just a bunch of... Yeah, dude, I, I was lucky enough to, like, a lot of my uh, uh, deployments or missions and whatnot, uh, most of them were, like, just training purposes. Yes. But I cannot imagine Action. what, uh, yeah, like, what people, like, before my generation, like, even, like... 2002. Uh, Iraq, yeah, yeah, 2002, those, like, 2003, yeah. yeah. And uh, a lot of those guys that taught me, like, what I know today, like, they were, like photographers uh, like war photographers during that yes. time and one of like their uh cool little sayings that they always had was like yeah the the brave ones fight fight the wars the crazy ones film it F- yes yeah. <laughs> i was like man Shoot. that is crazy yeah. yeah i've seen a lot of photographers from vietnam yeah. from all the wars because i follow i'm like yeah. i get in the rabbit hole yeah and i'm like holy crap yeah, man dude, that is some yeah pretty gruesome there's stuff. some uh there's some big big photographers out there yeah. that it, you know they took 
Because, man, uh, you're, there's fighting going on, yeah. and then you're like, all right, you cannot stop and, like, smile. No, yeah. you got to, like, be getting shot and taking yeah. those. Yeah. Exactly. Or even back in the day, like, the only way for photographers to get exposed or, like, be recognized was to be able to capture events or moments like that. Because, uh, you know, yeah, yeah you, no you, social yeah, media, you, no phones, no nothing. That was the only way to you know. Yeah. And that's why Vietnam was so mm -hmm. horrible because we were, it was a, one of the first ones yeah. to get captured. Exactly. And color. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's crazy to think that uh, a lot of these. I was oh, recently, so good. yeah, <laughs> I was recently reading this uh, or watching this video of this uh, woman who was a photographer, and she like documented like the whole uh, like Japanese people uh, during oh, the yes, war. Yes, and, and World like, War Two. Yeah, yes, World War II. Uh, um, She was uh, Canadian or American? I think she was American. American, yeah. yes. I um, forgot her name, but she like documented like concentration camps because yes, a lot of people don't, they, yeah. they don't realize that America did some fucked up shit, you yeah. know, like to the Japanese people yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of her work wasn't published until like later after, you know, the fact yeah. that. Um, but it's just like, damn, like they actually had to put in work to be able to recognize and i feel like people don't appreciate what we have now which is the beauty called social media yeah. it's like dude it's so easy to get recognized nowadays uh which is a good thing and a bad thing because you do fill it up with so many photos and so many photographers oh, yeah. where it's hard to like really pinpoint the people who uh started this yeah, started yeah. or are, are actually yeah. good you know i yeah. hate to say it but yeah. some people put photos up there and they suck they're like yeah, yeah. i mean there's a uh, yeah. there's a lot of uh yeah. there's a lot of of that yeah mm -hmm. but you know i mean it goes to the saying that bees don't smell shit you know yeah. only flies yeah exactly. you know so it's uh i mean don't compare uh yeah it's different monsters you're like your mentality has to be like yeah different you know i feel like yeah. uh that whole yeah like you said comparison uh it's it's just social media is just I become I think it's be, it's made it become too easy. Yes. You yes. Know? And uh, a lot of I want to say a lot of a lot of my clients they come through more relationships. Like I'm shooting at an event and then somebody sees me and then I'm able to like acquire a yeah, new client. Yeah, like word that. Of mouth. yeah, word of mouth, man. You know how many times I'm yeah. like we always carry. Uh, carry cards and we're like yeah. uh you're like oh here's my my yeah. whenever they ask for it uh, i hate like just giving them out like candy yeah. i'm like no because then they're gonna get thrown away yeah, and i'm like uh, you, you gotta, know they gotta ask so they, 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 uh, if they can ask me that's even better yeah. you know because i don't just like uh, i see a lot of that mm -hmm. stuff and i don't i don't i don't think that's cool because yeah. we're higher to uh to get it make a really good job and, and yeah. not to promote our, our business mm -hmm. you know so whenever people come to us and be like, hey, can I have it? Yeah, of course, man. Uh, I would yeah. love to work with you, you know? Exactly. Uh, I have my, my house has become our studio. We have a studio yeah. upstairs where we bring clients. Uh, the only purpose of that studio is just for clients. For clients, yeah. Exactly. We have in there a um, fridge for them. We have uh, uh, my work, printed work, TV mm -hmm. for so they can see the movie, yeah. snacks, you know, just a little bit of everything. Yeah. So they can, uh, they can see everything. So, I mean, you just have to... Show them, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Exactly. No, that's that's the thing. Uh, well, now that you kind of mentioned into that, um, I feel like a lot of people don't really see their work until it's printed. I feel like digital things die like, yes. really quickly. You just, Real quick. Yeah. Real quick. I mean, uh, the average is yeah. a what couple you, what, of days. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say is the importance of, uh, you know, for a lot, especially for wedding clients, kids and other clients, I hate it when they're like, uh, what if I don't want any prints or like, I just want digitals. Do you give them just uh, digitals or you're I do, I have to, certain packages yeah. on that, uh, certain packages that only do digital, certain packages that do prints. So they yeah. get to choose on that. I have no problem with that. Um, I love to see my work printed. Yeah. I mean, it's just, there's exactly. something about a see a big old canvas, what you're yeah. working and you're like, Hell yeah, I did that. Yeah, you know, I put work into it and thought and so go back. Have, yeah. have a little bit more meaning to it. Exactly. It? Yeah, I love to see yeah. my work printed, man. It's just like, and that's the reason we offer mm -hmm. everything printed. You know, yeah. uh, a majority of our packages yeah. comes with prints and big old canvases. Uh, so yeah. yeah, if if I could print all my work. Uh, it sounds a little narcissist, yeah. but like I would love to see all my work. Yeah. You know, I did a quinceañera not too long ago. Um, it was for the Padilla family. Yeah. And man, she she went out of uh, out of this world. She made an entire like collection of her her prints. Yeah. Uh, and it was like tw like twelve to twenty pictures, big old pictures, and it was like a. Uh, uh, 
kind of like a museum of, mm -hmm. of, of those. And she looked so pretty. And I was just like, wow, that looks yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, my work, I never seen it like that, you know? Yeah. It felt like, really yeah. good, yeah. I feel like people forget the importance of uh, prints and yes. just how much more meaning, more value yeah. it holds. And it's so easy yeah. nowadays. I mean, you got Snapfish or yeah. uh, I think that's Snapfish, something like that. I have no idea. It's uh, <laughs> where you use from your phone, print it like that, and it's free. I, yeah. I think it's uh, real cheap or free Yeah. to print your Dang. stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, out. and if you want more quality, of course, it's going to yeah. cost you. But, I mean, you, you can get something because, I mean, mm -hmm. your, your digital uh, on your pictures on your phone, yeah. they die after, I don't know. I don't check my phone. Yeah. Uh, old pictures until I'm, like, really bored and I have no internet signal. Yeah. And then I'm looking, like, all yeah, right, yeah. let's go look at old <laughs> Start pictures. Start digging through stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know that you shoot uh, primarily Nikon. Yes. Right? Yes. What, uh, what made you want? Do you just like the system a lot more? Uh, it's the one I started with. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. The first camera that I had was a Canon. I wanted Canon. You're, uh, and then my wife was, was it like, a "Rebel." Uh, was it, it was a re Rebel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like yeah, everybody starts with the Canon Rebel. Yeah, so it started <laughs> with that, and um, then I switched to Nikon, and I okay. was like, "Okay, I like it. It was yeah. really good." I started buying expensive lenses, mm -hmm. and then I was so invested that I couldn't go back to anything else. Yeah, you know. Right now, I'm like, uh, I finally move into mirrorless. Yeah, you know, and I love it. Uh, for the video, I still shoot DSLR yeah. on my um, pictures, yeah. but yeah, Heck that's yeah. that's uh, I lo I like Nikon. Yeah, it's just yeah. now the quality. It's not which one's better. It's mm -hmm. like both of them are on the top, and you know, it's just yeah. I feel like every system has their own yeah uh, advantages. I particularly like Canon and Sony. Yeah, uh, I got I, I switched to Sony because primarily because uh, I felt like it was just easier uh, to use and I could focus a lot more on uh, other aspects of photography. Yes. Uh, not to take away from Canon, because I feel like Canon still holds its own. Yeah. Uh, same thing from Nikon. I've shot, I've shot on all three systems. Um, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you Nikon, uh, it does have a lot more um, sharpness, I want to say. Yes, uh, yeah. You can actually like, when, when I, the last time I took a photo with uh, with the Nikon and compared it to my Sony, like I could literally see the pores of people. Yeah, on yeah, the Nikon it's, system. yeah, yeah. So it, I mean, yeah. and they're, they're nowadays. I mean, all uh, most of the equipment is yeah. even uh, with the newer iPhones. Yeah. I mean, you can get really crazy, really pictures. good details. Yeah, yeah. My uh, yeah, my compadre is another uh, good photographer from mm -hmm. down south in Dequin, and he shows me pictures with his iPhone. I'm like. What camera did you use? Yeah, and he's like, "No, I used my iPhone." I'm like, <laughs> mind blown, mind blowing, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, That's it crazy, is crazy. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy to to think all that, and it's kind of scary too. Like, are we gonna be out of job soon? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> you, could, I don't think yeah. we ever be out of jobs because yeah. it comes back to the you have to put thought into your images. Yeah. you know, if uh, I think the people that will be out of a job are the people that just. Just click, right? Click, click. Yeah. Yeah, but the people that actually put thought into their images uh, will be the ones that, you know, separated from those, mm -hmm. you know, the kids from the, 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 the kids from the men, you know? Yeah. Like you were saying earlier, yeah, so that's, that's the difference. As long for as you sure. have something that you can provide for the client that they don't yeah. have anywhere else, because every uncle, every family has an uncle that has a camera. Exactly, that you know, uncle that's with the camcorder recording exactly, all the thing. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, if they want that, that's fine. That's not the mm -hmm. type of client I'm looking for. I want yeah. the, uh, the client that appreciates my work. Yeah. That they see my work is like, Man, I'm so glad I got you. Exactly. You know, because I, I feel I feel good. I work better when I feel good. You exactly. Know? Same thing for you. If you're like, mm -hmm. oh no, you suck. I'm like, well, don't hire me. <laughs> you know, yeah. as simple as that. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll take a weekend off. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, Yasmani, I think uh, we're coming to a wrap. Very uh, good. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say to the people Man, listening to us? Yeah, just in, if you're gonna do photography. Yeah. Uh, reach out to to any 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 photographer and there a mm -hmm. lot of them are going to say no yeah uh have fun with it uh keep trying keep trying to tell uh, all the people that i've worked with uh keep trying uh practice a lot and yeah. just have fun i mean that's the thing exactly. have fun uh enjoy what you do because mm -hmm. i mean you only have uh you know you can be working in any shitty job yeah but you can actually do a pretty be, be a photographer and have a badass job you oh, know yeah. 
Yeah, that's just do that. Do what makes you happy. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. But yeah, thank awesome. you so much, thank dude, you. for having me. Yeah. Appreciate you. Excellent. Yeah. All right. It was great. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Man, that I was think great. We're done. How how long did we do? Uh, let me go check. You want another whiskey? You're good. Uh, I think I'm good for now. Good. Yeah. We did 46 minutes. Oh, really?